the third camp for Mark Borowiecki, and uh, well, obviously there's a comfort level that uh, I think is pretty good for you right now. Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, in those first couple, you kind of get the nerves out, and uh, I feel really comfortable now. You know, a lot of familiar faces, and I'm just trying to kind of do my best here and show management what I've got. All right, what do you have? And uh, let's talk a little bit about last season. Obviously, a great end to the year for you in Binghamton, and how much of that uh, certainly helped you? Ah, uh, man, it, it, it was huge. I mean, I was saying to you earlier, it's like night and day for me as a player. Uh, you know, I came in kind of shy kid out of out of college, you know, and uh, got a chance to kind of step up and play, play some big minutes for Binghamton, and I'm really grateful and thankful for the opportunity, and I mean, it's done wonders for me. So. Described as one of the hardest workers in camp last year and the year before, obviously. That's what it's all about, a development camp like this. What are some of the things that you have worked on in the past and want to continue to work on? Uh, you know, I think kind of my biggest asset right now is probably my, my, my intensity and my battle level, and it's something that I want to try and bring every, not only every game, but every ice time practice or, or game. And I think, uh, you know, I really, I really got to work on being confident and, uh, you know, Especially for that jump to the pros, you got to get that much stronger, that much uh, faster, and I think it's just all, all those little things that you got to keep working on. Talent level at this camp has been described as off the charts. Certainly, a ton of skill. Are you seeing that on the ice? Definitely the best one I've been to yet. I mean, uh, you know, being one of the older guys now, 20, 22. I mean, it's kind of kind of scary, but uh, you know, some of these kids, 17, 18, and uh, you know, they're great players. They got great talent, and uh, I'm sure they're going to go a long ways. Mark, thanks for this, and best of luck the rest of the way. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Here with goaltending coach Rick Wamsley, head coach of the Black. Two big wins in the month of June. One back in Houston, I believe, uh, and another one uh, on day three of uh, development camp. Which one holds is, is more special for you? Well, I had a little more to do today here, Gordy, than I did in Houston, to tell you the truth. But uh, it's fun being part of the winning team for sure. Okay, tell us about this scrimmage first of all, and uh, then describe how camp has gone after three days. Well, this, the scrimmage is, is a long day for the kids, number one. It's day three. It's a little bit of hump day. It's been uh, uh, the skaters had two hours on the ice today. The goalies had an hour, and, and then they had other stuff to do. So it's been a real long day. So I thought it was real competitive. A scrimmage for uh, this this part of camp. It's been a real competitive camp. Um, duly impressed with the the, the recent picks and, and the, of the last couple of years coming through. You're starting to see uh, the skill and and the reasons why they were picked so high. Yeah, I won't put you on the spot and ask if there's anybody that stands out above the rest. But uh, at the same time, uh, this camp has been described as one that has a ton of skill. Yeah, I think so. I think what you can see is you know we had a little bit of trouble scoring goals last year, and that there was an emphasis on on getting some forwards with some skill that might be able to score. And I think you can see uh, uh, with the Silverberg and the Filatov, uh, Peterson scored a nice goal in the scrimmage out here. You can just you can just see the, the the smart show, the cost that we got some really good smart people with the puck that can make plays, and hopefully we found some guys that can put the puck in that. As an old goaler from. Uh Days gone by, uh, June hockey with the intensity that we saw here at this camp. It's a little bit different from when you were on the ice. Yeah, I think so. I never played in June. <laughs> <laughs> never had a reason. But, uh, um, no, I think, you know, the other part of this is it, they're, they're trying, guys are trying to make impressions to the brass that's watching. Uh, some guys are trying to get contracts. Uh, some guys are just trying to get invited back. So there's a lot on the line for each individual player. And um, hockey is a real intense sport. And if there's something to play for, then the intensity is pretty good. Thanks for this. Good luck the rest of the week. Thanks, Corey.